in arms. And somehow, in those days, my brothers and sisters, the kingdom did come on the in the lives of black folk. The kingdom came, and we decided that we had to stand for love as black folk in 1889 and in 1890. We had to stand against the racism and against the killing of black men in our community. We had to stand against it. We had to stand for peace. We had to stand for justice. Where is the peace and justice lovers right now? Where are the kingdom peoples right now? Where are we standing right now while our black men are being slaughtered in the streets of Chicago? <laughs> I tell you where it is. We're so busy being selfish and self-centered. We're so busy worrying about our own lives. We're so busy worrying about our own selves. We don't have time to worry about loving somebody else. We don't have time to worry about caring about somebody else. Then it doesn't take an army. It did not take an army to end what had to be ended. It took some committed people. It took some kingdom people. It took some, it took some kingdom people. And God is calling right now for kingdom people, people who are willing to allow his kingdom to be on the inside of you. He, he's looking for people who are willing to be open to his kingdom coming into your lives. Now, let me tell you something. If you beat your wife, you ain't got the kingdom of God in you know how. If you beat up your husband, you ain't got the kingdom of God in your house no way. If you beat up your children, you ain't got the kingdom of God. But let me tell you something. If you're spreading love in your own house, then you got kingdom God. If you got peace in your own house, then the kingdom of God is reigning in your house. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about it. I'm talking about his kingdom and his justice and his love and his peace uh, starting where? With you and me. If we want to end the violence uh, in the streets of Chicago, if we're going to end the, the black on black crime in the, in the streets of Chicago, it ends with us. Don't look for somebody else. Don't go all the way to Afghanistan and start worrying about ending the war over there. Don't go all the way uh, to Iraq and start worrying about the war over there. Don't even go to Darfur right now and worry about the a genocide that's happening there. Worry about right here in the city of Chicago. Worry about right here in your own block. Worry about right here in your own family, your own job, among your own loved ones. You got to start being a kingdom people right now in your own self. Somebody say amen.